The CBS Radio Mystery Theater presents... Come in. Welcome. I'm E.G. Marshall. Welcome to the Sound of Suspense. To the theater of the mind, where on the unlimited stage of your imagination, we'll play out a drama of terror. Terror for three people who might be called babes in the wood. It's a frightening thing to lose your way. And even more terrifying if you're lost in an unfamiliar forest with nothing to give you a sense of direction. And that's where we find two escaped convicts, Hank Farley and Will Chase. Fugitives from an army stockade, together with Hank's wife, Dolly, who tried to help them escape. But being lost is only a part of their problem. Well, whatever it was, it's gone. It's still out there, somewhere. What are we going to do? I, I, I think we ought to stay here till we starve. We've got to keep moving. But Hank's leg... Okay, look... I figure it's about early afternoon. Let's wait till the heat of the day passes. Give Hank's leg a rest and then go on when it's cooler. But if we can't find our way out before dark... Then we spend another night in these woods. With that? That thing out there? That and... God knows what else. mystery drama, Escape, Escape, was written especially for the Mystery Theater by Bob Juran and stars Terry Keene and Robert Dryden. Welcome to a rainy August night in Louisiana. The lights of an army camp shine dimly through the sheet of water that falls from the cold black sky. Little rivers run in gullies across the deserted, muddy compound of the stockade. All is quiet except for the rain. And then... Get down. Get down. Now see us. We'll never make the fair. Shut up and do what I tell you. Let's go back. That'll really be the end of us. We killed one guard already. Now... We're going to go down trying. This rain's on our side. The searchlights don't shine as far. But we've got to get across that whole compound. The next time the lights sweep past, we follow. Just behind. Now, get ready. We won't be able to find the hole in the fence in this rain. We'll worry about that when we get to the fence. Now, hold on. Here comes the light now. Stay just behind it. Ready? We've got to beat that next swing of the light. How much farther? I can't tell in this rain. Hey, the light's coming this way again. Faster. Here. Here's the fence. Hey, the light. I got more shots left. Now, keep your fingers crossed. Ha-ha, bullseye. I hit the light. Come on. See along this fence. Yeah. Charlie said the hole be right next to the fourth post. Yeah. Damn rain. It's helped and it hasn't. Here's the hole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. You go first. Hurry. I made it. Watch the right side. There's a bar. Yeah. Yo! Oh, my hip. I told you to watch it. Yeah. It hurts. Can you walk? Yeah, of course I can walk. It's not that bad. All right, come on. Oh, I sure hope Dolly's there with the car. She'll be there. She better be. We don't know the woods or the roads around here. Hank, are you sure you know which way to go? No, no, I'm not sure. What am I, a miracle man? I'm as scared as you are. But we got to keep going. Charlie said head straight away from the fence for a mile and a half. To the road. The trees block a lot of the rain. We'll get there. There's a clearing. It must be the road. Yeah. Uh, that looks like a car, Hank. Huh? 
It's too dark to be sure. Keep moving. It is a car, hey. Oh. It's Dolly. She found the spot, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a convertible. I told you Dolly wouldn't let us down. Oh. 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 Thank you, mate. Oh, bless you, <laughs> Dolly, for being here. Oh. Okay, well, get in the back. Oh, thank God you made it. Oh, I have missed you so. Time for that later, doll. All right, come on, get going. Oh, hey, man, you sure are a mess. Oh. Yeah, we had to crawl through the mud. Yeah. yeah. Hey, where are we heading? Well, first to Masonville. We pick up the interstate there. I had a heck of a time finding my way in here. The rain didn't help either. It helped us back to stockade. Ah! What's the matter? Oh, I, I ripped myself crawling through the fence. Is it bad? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I haven't had a chance to look at it. Well, maybe we should stop in Masonville. Huh? Are you crazy? Oh, it'll be all right. We don't dare stop. He's right. We'll keep going. Oh, but, uh, what's the matter? I just went half the road I'm supposed to take. You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. I turned right at the white sign coming in. So I'm supposed to turn left going out. Well, we can't argue with you. One mile on this road. And then right at the cemetery. <laughs> Now what? I know this was the road, but we should have come to the cemetery a long time ago. We probably missed it in the rain. Maybe we should go back. Yeah, we'll have to. That cemetery's my only guidepost. We're on dirt now. The road's coming in here are all paved. Uh, maybe we ought to stop and wait till daylight. Hey, hey, there's a light up ahead. Let's ask. What are you, dummy? What do you think we are, tourists? They've had an alert out for us for an hour. Well, look, maybe I should ask. You two stay in the car. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. It might not be so bad. It's isolated out here. Maybe they haven't heard about it. And even if they have, it doesn't make any difference. What are you talking about? We're going to spend the night in that house. What? No use wandering around getting lost in the rain. We're all going in and help ourselves to their hospitality. What do you want? Ah, uh, our car broke down. Can we use your phone? Oh, uh, what happened to you? Uh, haven't you ever seen mud before? Uh, well, come on in. Uh. This is very kind of you, and this is... Call me Granny Good. That's how I'm called. Uh, we're on our way to Masonville, Granny. Can we call a service station? Oh, well, here's the phone. I don't know if Amos had come out this late. Oh, we don't mind waiting. I'll just... Oh, my phone! What did you do that for? You just got some unexpected overnight company, and we don't want to be disturbed. Oh, you've got some... Shut nerve. up. You got a radio? Of course I got a radio. Oh. oh now I know what you want. Shut up. You're, you're the prisoners that escaped from the army camp. Oh, it didn't take them long to announce it. They said you killed a guard. Hank, you didn't. We had to. Oh, murderers. Get out of my house. Get out. You just shut up, old lady. You murderers, you'll not stay in my house. Hank, an old woman. Oh, you'd be sorry for that, murderer. Shut up, I said. Get us some food. You'll be sorry. Hank, why are you acting like this? Leave me alone. He's on edge, Dolly. We all are the... Past couple of hours haven't been any picnics. Ah, what is it? Your, your hip again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're here. Ah. Here, sit down, sit down. Okay. Uh, look, could we have some warm water and bandages? My husband's been hurt. You expect me to nurse him? No, I just asked not but... for a murderer. Let him suffer. Get the bandages. Hank. Oh, all right. I'll get you some water. But don't think you scared me into it. Come on, Hank. Now, relax, okay? Uh, Coming here was your idea, Hank. We got no other choice. We'll stay till daylight and then get moving. Yeah, water and a bandage, and don't ask for anything more. How about some food? I don't have any food. Yeah? What's in that pot on the fire? 
Snakes and snails and puppy dog tails. <laughs> you want some, sonny boy? Don't get funny with me. Hey, look, old lady, we're going to stay here till morning, so just get used to the idea, huh? Well, look around. Yeah. See if there's anything we can use and find some food no matter what she says. Hank, sit still. I'll uh, fix your leg. Now, just a Granny. minute. Granny. Oh, the gun again. Why? Why do you want to frighten me? Barge in and treat me like this. I, I know you're escaped murderers. Why don't you just go and leave me alone? Hey, well, did you find anything? Ah, uh, nothing much. There's a storeroom back here full of empty bottles, every size and shape. Oh. Oh, so Granny likes to put up her own, huh? <laughs> Where are the full bottles, Granny? Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. Where's your booze? I could use a drink right now. There's no liquor here. Find it, Will. Right. No, no, don't open that cabinet. Open it, Will. No, no, please. It's locked. Open it. Oh, please, don't. don't. Get away from there. Hey, look at that. Money. It's mine. Stacks and stacks of money. Just laying there. Ah, that is something we can use. No, no. Don't you dare touch that. There's no hurry. We'll pack it up when we're ready to leave. All right, come on, Will. Wash up and Dolly will find us something to drink. And eat. You want some more salad? No, oh, no. No, thanks. Me neither. Hey, wasn't a bad meal. Yeah. Better than that garbage at the Army prison, eh, Hank? <laughs> I knew that old hag would soften up. Eh. Look at her snoozing over there by the fire with her cauldrons and her cats. <laughs> All she needs is a black-pointed hat. Yeah. You know, I could use some sleep myself. They'll take turns. Mm. There's nothing that old hag can do, but we better not take chances. She might run for help. Yeah, I'm still pouring rain, though. I wouldn't stop her. She knows her way around here. Well, look, I'll stay up. I'm too nervous to sleep anyway. I don't like the way that one cat keeps staring at us. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's bugging me, too. What are you two trying to do? Spook us all? I'll just be glad when we're out of here. Hank, why don't we leave now? Granny will tell us how to get to the main road into Masonville just to get rid of us. No way. She could get us really lost or direct us right back to the army base. Now, we'll wait for daylight. She's waking up. Uh, uh, so what? Uh, I'm going to sleep. Uh, you're all still here. Yeah. I thought you'd be gone by now. I told Rimba to send you away. Who's Rimba? My best friend. <laughs> Aren't you, Rimba? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he didn't get the message. It's that cat that's been staring at us. <laughs> Send them away, Rimba. You have the power. Send them away. Hank? Hank, I'm frightened. Uh, keep that cat away from us. Yeah. Go ahead, Rimba. We've been hospitable long enough. Send them away. If that cat comes any closer, I... Hey! Oh, oh. Oh. Rimba! Rimba! You... You killed Rimba! That cat was mad. It was attacking. You killed Rimba. Now you'll pay. Murderers. You hit me. You steal my money. Eat my food. You kill my cat, or you'll pay with your lives. You have no more chances left. Hank, I'm scared to death. She's going crazy. She's throwing things on the fire. Oh, what can she do? That cat was going to... Fire first, and then the ash. Golden powder from the sash. Powder mixed with basil green. Mandrake root and things unseen. Now a grain into the fire to test fulfillment of desire. It blew up. What's going on, Hank? I don't know. She's putting on some show. Look, I don't like it. We've got to get out of here. Killers of my faithful friend. On thee, the hate of hell descend. Now, once again, into the fire. Complete fulfillment of desire. Oh, <laughs> my 
one way of getting rid of unexpected and unwanted company, smoke them out. And Granny is certainly within her rights when nothing but brutal treatment rewarded her hospitality. We'll see how our notorious trio makes out when I return shortly with Act Two. We return now to the rather bizarre scene at the cottage of old Granny Good. After being terrorized by her very rude and ungrateful guests, she struck back by filling the cottage with smoke from a powder she threw into the fire. And at this moment, her unexpected company is making a hasty retreat. <coughs> oh, hey! Hey, get over here! I, I see you! I can just make you out! We found the door! Hurry up! The smoke's getting worse! Okay! Okay. Let's go. Ah. Oh, I can breathe. I can keep running. Get to the car. Hey. Hey. The rain stopped. Ah. But it's so dark. Oh. I can't see either of you. Well, that's the way it is in woods at night. The car ought to be right over here. We parked close to the cottage. Oh, I can't. I can't see it. Look. We can't see the lights in the cottage anymore. Did we run that far? No. It didn't seem like it. Oh. I let stumble back. Oh. Hank. Hank, please, do you know which way we're going? Yeah, back the way we came. <laughs> we got to get to the car. But Hank, we... Oh. What happened? I walked into a tree. I can't see a... Dead thing. You got any matches? No, have you? No. Well, come on, we'll feel our way. We could walk around in circles in this dark. Oh, we gotta wait for morning. That old woman's probably on her way to the police right now. How? Oh, on her broom? Ah, uh, she couldn't get anywhere tonight. Will's right. We'll bed down here and wait till daylight. Bed down on this wet ground? Okay, okay, okay. Let's relax. We can't walk around in circles. We'll have to make out as best we can right here. Yeah. It's not cold. Rain stopped. We'll just have to stay here till daylight. Then we'll see the cottage and get out of here. Hey, you awake? Yeah, it's getting light. Oh, yeah, yeah. Better get moving. Dolly. You all right, honey? Oh. Oh, it's so stiff. Uh, you'll feel better once we get going. Hey. Dolly. Look. What? Where's the cottage? It's gone. Well, we... We couldn't have wandered that far away from it. Well, we did. We thought we were heading back for it in the dark. Instead, we were walking away from it. What direction should we go? Well, uh, if we keep moving, we got to come to a road sometime. Maybe the dirt road we came in on. Okay. Hey, look, look. That, that looks like a path up ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the undergrowth isn't as thick up there. Mm. Well, uh, path's got to lead somewhere. What do we do? We we go right or left, huh? Uh, left. It seems to go up. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if we get to higher ground, we'll see the cottage. Oh, okay, we, we go left. Yeah. Hank, suppose we can't find our way out of here. We don't have any water, any food. Don't think like that, Dolly. We'll get out of here. 
We couldn't have come all that far from the cottage last night. We stopped walking after a few minutes. The cottage and that dirt road have to be close. Yeah. But we may still be walking away from them. Oh, Hank. Hank, please, I gotta rest. Yeah, okay. We'll stop for a while. Oh. My legs bothering me, too. I'm dying of thirst. We all are. It's so blasted hot, too, and still. Hank? Huh? Do you notice something? Like what? There's no sound. Yeah, you, you're right. I mean, not a rustle. No birds. Come to think of it, I... I haven't seen any animals either, like a squirrel or chipmunk or anything. It's unnatural. Ah, it's the heat. I just wish we could could find some water. Well, look, uh, you, you two stay here. Maybe I can scout around. No, 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 no. No, we got to stick together. Well, sitting here isn't going to find us any water. Relax, will you? Dolly's tired. Well, so am I. But unless we keep going... We'll go and Dolly's right. All right, just stop it. Stop it. I'm okay. Will's right. We ought to keep going. Uh, hey, look. Look at that tree over there. Ah, uh, where? Huh? To the left. No branches, just flowers at the top. If I wasn't so miserable, they would be almost beautiful. It's uh, probably a vine, uh, like the bougainvilleas in, in California. But when I was in L.A. one time... Hey, hey, up ahead. It, it, it's a clearing. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many we can get our bearings if we get out of this undergrowth. Hey, come on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there's a pond or a stream or something. Look at... Wow. Look at the size of that rock. That's bigger than a house. Uh, and white. It's like a whole hill collapsed into a pile of white boulders. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and scale this one. Maybe I can get a clue about where we are. Be careful. Uh, it's not too bad. I can get a footing. Well, it looks like about 30 feet up. It's a solid rock. Not a branch or a Blade of grass. See anything? Not yet. I'm going higher. Ah, uh, take it easy. Wow. What a sight. What is it? Hundreds of these things. It's, it's like a desert of white boulders. Far as you can see. A uh, dead end? There are some funny looking trees in the distance. And yeah. It looks like a road. A road? How far? Well, it's hard to judge from here, but... Oh, maybe two miles? We'll have to cross over these rocks. Are you sure it's a road? Wait a second. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh. <laughs> it is. Uh. It's a paved road running straight along the line of trees. Cut. Okay, come on down. Oh, Hank, Hank, we're finally getting out of yeah, here. Yeah, 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 but let's not waste any time. How much farther? Oh. Well, we're almost to the road. You can see the line of trees. His leg's killing me. You know, I... I think it's infected. I've got to have some water. It's not fine now. Uh. We're coming out of the rocks now. Okay, where's the road? I don't know. It was along here. I, I, I saw it. And nothing. Nothing but more jungle. We're back in the woods. I know there was a road. You thought you saw a road, you damn idiot. That was a mirage. We come all this way for a mirage. Well, how was I to know? God, we're lost. We're lost, Jack. We're lost. Shut up, Dolly. We're going to die here. I know it. We're never going to find Stop it, will you? 
Okay. All right, we all got to rest now. The heat's getting to us. And I can't go another step on this leg without some rest. Oh, well, that's just great. What are we going to have to do, carry you? You're going to have to carry me if I don't get some water. Now, now, look, we've been pushing for hours. Let's try to calm down. All right, we're lost, but... Shh, what? What? Listen, listen. What is it? What would someone be doing making a sound like that? Whoever it is probably won't know about us. We can ask him how to get out of here. He's got in the ha. He got in. Sounds like he's clearing brush. He's coming closer. Ah! What is that? Oh, my God! Ah! And look at <laughs> like an ant! A, a giant ant! Oh, it's as big as I am. All right, get back, get back, get back under these rocks. It hasn't seen us. I'm going to be sick. Oh, hey, down, down, down and quiet. Oh, oh, my leg is hey. It can't be an ant. Well, you saw it. But I don't believe it. What's it doing now? It looks, looks like it's eating a plant. Oh, what are we going to do? Pray it. Doesn't try to eat us. He could. Stop it! Stop it! I can't stand it! Hey, you shut up! I think it's seen us. Oh, I heard it. Yeah, it's waving those <laughs> things on its head. It's, it's trying to find out where we are. Don't anybody move a muscle. It'll spot moving. <sighs> We're just dreaming this. They can't be ants that big. I, I think it spotted us. I can't look. It's, it's moving this way. It's moving. We, we can't fight it. We, we, we gotta get back under those boulders. They, they form a natural cave back there. Yeah, well, I can't make it fast on this way. You've got to. Take his ah. arm, Dolly. Oh. I can't move. Ah, okay. I, I'll make I it on my own. Move. I can't move. Hey, well, I'll, I'll drag myself. In the sandies! No! What? No! I can't stand it! I can't stand it! Give me a, give me a hand. Give me a hand, man. I'm not going to make it. Save Dolly. You'll make it. I'll get, I'll get you in here. Dolly's all right. If a thing that big stings you... You're dead! Hey, so, so, the can't reach us in here. Oh. Oh. We're okay now. I can't. It can't be real. That shit can't be real. Oh, that was oh, straight out of a nightmare. I got chills all over. I, I can't stop shaking. It's so hideous. Hey? Has it gone? No, no. It might be trying to find another way in. Oh, no, no. Oh, gosh, that's, that's an ugly thing. Oh, it's, it, it's moving away. Back into the woods. Oh, oh, thank heaven. How could an ant get to be that size? I mean, this isn't Mars. It's Louisiana. What do you... Hey. Maybe it's mechanical. What? What do you mean, mechanical? Well, some kind of vehicle the Army's been testing. Re remote control, maybe. Oh, we've been walking in this heat for hours. No sleep, no food, no water. We could be imagining anything. It tried to attack us. I was no vehicle. Well, then how do you explain an ant as big as a lion? I don't know. Well, whatever it was, it's... It's gone. But it's still out there. Somewhere. What else, indeed? Could there really be an ant as big as a lion? There are such things as mutations, we're told. I'd certainly hate to have one of them show up at one of my picnics. But if that's any indication of what lies ahead in this strange Louisiana wood, it won't be any picnic for Hank, Will, and Dolly. 
when we return shortly with Act Three. No escape goes unpursued. And at the moment, while Hank, Will, and Dolly are considering their predicament, their pursuers are hot on the trail. Let's return to Granny Good's cottage as a car bearing the word sheriff on its doors winds its way up the road and then suddenly stops. Something wrong, Sheriff? Yeah. That car by Granny Good's cottage. It's got out-of-state plates. Don't see many of them around here. Uh, let's walk the rest of the way. Keep your gun handy. Well, they didn't chase her on foot when they left the stockade. Well, they could have been picked up by somebody. Hi, Roy. Hi, Granny. Everything all right here? No, it ain't. I just got finished burying Rimba, my favorite cat. Whose car? Uh, that belongs to the fellas I think you're, you're looking for. They've been here. Uh, they were here. They're gone now. Without their car? Oh, uh, Granny, this here is Major Thomas from the Army base where those two fellas escaped from. He's investigating. How do, Major? Hello, Miss Good. Uh, you say they were here and then left without their car, is that right? Last night few hours after they came. And good riddance. And nothing but murderers. They they killed my cat. My rimba. And they hit me. Tried to steal my money. Yeah, well, now, if they didn't take their car, where'd they go? I don't know. It was pouring rain. They, they run out into the woods. They're the girl with them. She drove the getaway car. Well, she said she was the wife of one of them. Yep, Hank Farley's wife. Chase wasn't married. Oh, well, come on in out of the heat. I, I have lemonade ready. All right, tell us what happened last night, Granny. Well, Roy, they, they bust in here around 10 o'clock. Oh, they traveled fast. First alarm went out at 9. And they were all covered with mud. But I'd heard it on the radio. I knew who they were. And they pulled the phone out of the wall. But what made them leave? How'd they run into strange woods they didn't know? Oh, it beats me. Oh, here's your lemonade, Major. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Roy? Oh, thank you. Major, I don't think you're ever going to find them. Those woods out there, one wrong step and you're lost forever. <laughs> I don't think we ought to wait any longer. I'm not moving from here. Not while that thing is out there. Dolly, it's gone. Gone where? If we go into the woods again, it'll find us. Well, we can't stay here forever. we got to keep trying. Oh. Well, we'll, we'll keep out of the woods for a while. Look down there. It's like a sandy path along the edge of the forest. Yeah. But let's follow that. Okay. No. Now, Dolly, we've got to. Hank, I'm afraid. Once we get going, you'll feel better. It's sitting around here imagining things that's getting to us. Come on. Come on, I'll help you. Uh, oh! Guess I don't have any choice. Oh, I'm so thirsty. How's that leg, Hank? Oh, boy, it hurts like the uh, devil. But I don't have any choice either. Is anything out here? No. Not a sound either. Okay. Let's go. You know, seems to be getting lighter. Hey, we're coming to something. What do you mean, coming to something? Well, uh, another <laughs> clearing, maybe. The sand strip's getting wider. Look, it's, it's like a desert. <laughs> they have deserts in Louisiana? Well, what do you call that? There's, there's nothing but more sand up ahead. Oh, it's better than jungle. Well, what do you think? <sighs> Should we go across? We don't know what's on the other side. Well, we don't know what's behind us either. I'm going to move up a bit. See if there's anything to give us a bearing. Uh, sand's deeper here. You sink in over your ankles. Well, be careful. See anything? Yeah. 
Hey, what's the uh, matter? I, I don't know. It, it's as though something hit me, but there's nothing here. Well, <laughs> you all right? Well, I will be when I find out what the... Wait, Hank, this is the damnedest thing. What is it? It's a force field of some kind. What do you mean? A uh, force field? Look, we're, we're standing here. Now, now walk straight ahead. Uh, slowly. Okay. Ah! It knocks you back. Stay back, Dolly. Don't worry. Now I'm convinced of it. We're wandering around an army testing ground. This is another one of our experiments. Is there a way, a way around it? Uh, somewhere, probably. Yeah, but where? You can actually reach out and touch it. It's like feeling your way along an invisible wall. You know what this means? We're right back in prison again. Our only escape is into the waiting hands of Major Thomas. We'll have to go back. Go back? To where? Well, hold up a second. Look off there to the left. Nothing but sky. I think the land drops away at the edge of the woods. Oh, let's let's find out. Maybe we can maybe we can get a bearing, huh? Oh, Hank. Hank, I'm so tired. I can't keep going. Okay, honey, okay. <sighs> Sit here for a few minutes. Uh, Will and I want to check out that cliff. Uh, hey, we're we're high, all right. Nothing but space out there. Don't, don't go so close to the edge. Look there, look down there, will you? Did you ever see anything like it? No. The strangest looking plants I've ever seen. It, it's not like the woods anymore. Yeah, tall, spindly things and flowers. Don't make sense. Look at this. Look at this thing. Over here. Ah! Honey, oh, 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 hang on. Oh, I'm sliding. What's happened? I can't stop. I Will, can't Will's can't going down the cliff. Oh, what can we do? Oh, oh, stop oh, now. Oh, 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 hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's grabbed hold of a plant. Hey, Will. Are you all right? He can't hear you. He seems okay. He's pulling himself up on the plant. Hank! Look! Oh, my God! The plant's crushing him. It's closing around him. Oh, it can't be! Oh, Hank, do something. Do something. The plant is swallowing him. We're never going to get out of this place. I know that. We can't get out. Dolly, Dolly, please, don't let go. We're not in Louisiana. We're in hell. When I was a little girl, I used to have bad dreams about hell. My mama would say, Dolly, if you're not a good girl, the devil will get you. And you'll go to that place. Stop it, Dolly. And I'd Dolly. go to bed and I would Stop. think about hell. And I'd... I dream about it. Oh, God. <laughs> now I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, honey, honey. Oh, Mama. Can I have a drink of water, Mama? I promise I won't call again, Mama. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Dolly. It's so dark. And I'm so thirsty. Mama, don't make me get out of bed. <laughs> Oh, please. Water. I hear water. It's water. Dolly. Dolly, don't go out there. It's water. It's dripping off that big leaf. <laughs> it's water at last. Dolly, come back here. Dolly. <laughs> Well, thank you.
Thank you for the lemonade, Mr. Good, and the information. I'll have Fred and Tony up here in about 20 minutes. Oh, whatever you think best. And I'll get the phone company out to fix your phone before dark. You can't be without that. Oh, I'd appreciate it, Roy. All right, we'll be in touch, Granny. Oh, uh, Major, are you married? Well, yes, I am. Oh, well, then I'd be most happy if you'd take this to your wife. A little token of my appreciation. Why, it's very beautiful. Oh, well, it's a terrarium. I see you've been admiring it. Uh, Granny's terrariums are famous around these parts, Major. <laughs> Everybody buys them. My wife's got one with a plant that eats meat. Oh, that's the Venus flytrap. There's one in this glass, too. Well, thank you very much. My wife will really enjoy it. <laughs> My pleasure. Oh, something wrong, Major? Well, I, I thought I saw something moving in there. Oh, well, it might be an ant. Sometimes they're in the earth when I plant them. It does no harm. <laughs> well, uh, thank you again, Miss Good, and uh, don't worry. We'll get those men. <laughs> well, you never know. You might be closer than you think. Well, after all, this is the age of miniaturization. And even witches have to keep up with the times. It appears that Granny Good reduced her problem to the smallest common denominator and arrived at a satisfactory solution. It also strikes me as a convenient way to lose weight or avoid a bill collector. Unless, of course, one goes too far and finds himself reduced to nothing. I'll be back shortly. Hank, Will, and Dolly might well have heeded a popular saying before tampering with Granny Good. Never underestimate the power of a woman, particularly one with lots of cats and a cauldron bubbling over the fire. We'll be stirring up some more suspense and terror for you on our next Mystery Theater tale. So do join us again. Our cast included Terry Keene, Robert Dryden, Bob Caliban, and Bryna Rayburn. The entire production was under the direction of Hyman Brown. Radio Mystery Theater was sponsored in part by Contact, the 12-hour allergy capsule, Anheuser-Busch Incorporated, Brewers of Budweiser, and the Kellogg Company, makers of Kellogg's Special K cereal. This is E.G. Marshall inviting you to return to our mystery theater for another adventure in the macabre. Until next time, pleasant... Dreams? Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.